morning. My name is Elisa and welcome to my crafting channel. So today we're going to make this Z fold card using my Cricut trimmer and my Cricut Joy. Let's get started. So we are going to use, I've got some orange cardstock here. I've got a pre-folded card that I'm going to have to refold because it's a little bit off because I've used an Anko pack of 10 cards with envelopes that are 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters. You could also cut one of those out of a 30 by 30 piece of cardstock and fold it yourself. We will still need to make this a Z fold, so we will still need to score it anyway. So you'll still need a scoring tool. Um, I'm going to use this deluxe paper by Cricut. Um, and the pack, because it's with a pack, it coordinates nicely and it looks like it'll go nicely with this orange that I have. So that'll work out well for me. And I'm going to use my trimmer, Cricut branded trimmer, with its extendable arm. My favourite, the extendable arm. If you didn't know, it's got blades at the back as well, interchangeable. Also, you can buy that blade, that one there. As a replacement which is also handy and what else do I need there was something else oh I was going to put some HTV on cardstock my HTV has gone for a walk so we will find that in a second it fell onto the floor here it is and I'm just going to use this little scrap here to create something special and you will see how we do that and I will use my easy press mini but when I do cardstock, I haven't had success using the Easy Press mat, so I will need to find a chopping board as well. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually score and trim some of my parts for this Zenfold card so that we can get an idea of spacing and it'll make things a little bit easier to visualize. So I'm going to just pop my joy out of the way for now. And so I've got this card here. It is 15 centimeters by 30 centimeters so you could cut that on a 30 by 30 piece of cardstock and you could get two of these cards out of a 30 by 30 piece of cardstock mine have come pre-folded in this pack i've picked up from anko but they also don't necessarily have the best score lines so i also need to find my scoring tool and my scraper i'm going to use my nice dollar set that i treated myself to for no real reason. Now what we're going to do, Cricut does come with a score up, but I really haven't had much success in it. This is my favourite, the folding arm. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get this back into half. So where is, where do I actually want it to sit? Try and push. using angles to get it to sit where I actually want it to sit. That's much better. So we've got fold lines. Now I'm going to check this measurement because this is Anko brand, so they're not great. Yeah, though it is actually pretty accurate with its 15 centimeters. So now we want to do a Z fold card. So take this here. And seven and a half. Mark seven and a half. Use my scoring tool to do the marking. And seven and a half. Now line those two up. The score marks up. Score. That'll give me a score fold. And now you want to fold over. So I'm going Z fold. And use that in the middle. And go over. Perfect. Now, I just realised that that's going to make it give it a more raw feel. So if I want to do it the other way, I'll over the 
and go with reverse. Ah, there we go. That gives me the colour that I want. So it's up to you. So to do a Z fold card, you need to do it the reverse way. So the back is the boring side. And the front is the deeper brown. Because that's what we're going to look at. Now to do a double Z fold, I need another piece. And you can do this piece whatever width you want, as long as it's smaller than 15 centimetres. And 25 centimetres long. So... I'm going to get my piece of orange and I'm going to make it how wide did I say now if you're going to cut your panels on your Cricut Joy I recommend cutting your length piece 12.8 centimeters if you are just going to do your panel pieces by eye or use a trimmer then match the panel pieces so we're going to go with the 12.8 centimeters it has to be 25 centimeters wide and I just started cutting so I might go reverse 25 centimeters but is more is easier now I'm going to measure 25 12 point how much is 13 for this one okay push in and up now I've got that comes away and my scrap is a nice size so I can either strip that way or strip that way you what it's going to look like happy with that so now I need to make my folds on this I need to score at half and then the Z again so 12 and a half might measure on this this is another way you can score there is a scoring tool so I haven't had any luck because this cardstock's a bit skinny not as strong of a GSM. So I'm going to do it this way. Put a nice little line down here. A nice little groove. My blade's well out of my way. I'm going to use that groove to my advantage here. Perfect. And then I need... I'm going to do this visually. As well as measurementing. Yeah, make sure that we've got our fold as accurate as we want it. Fold it in half. Then use our spray bar to get it accurate. I have a bone folder somewhere, but scrapes just as easy. Now we want to do Z fold. So we want to take out 12 and a half. We want to make that half again. So that's six and a quarter. Pop it in six and a quarter. So there. And use my lovely groove to my advantage. Here. I didn't even use the rule at that time. Now I'll fold that where I want it and get it millimeter accurate. Here, a little bit here that I'm not too happy with. I might get my scissors. And just trim the fluff off of it a little bit there. Now we've got this here, so we've got one Z fold, another Z fold. What we want to do, turn it around the other way, and then upside down, upside down, everything's always upside down. Showing my age there. 
and that's how we're going to glue it. So this panel here, the width is 12 and a half, and the height is about 12, a bit over 12 and a half. So now when I cut my next panel, it'll go through there. And then this is where it opens, like this. And depending on how you want to do it, this is your card, that's how it opens. So depending on how you want to do it, you can either do a pattern piece here and you're writing there, or your pattern piece here and you're writing there. So it's a clever little card. So my pattern piece, I'm going to use my trimmer, but here's where you can also cut this out from your Cricut Joy, because then you can just do your 7, your 7, your 10.78 as one border, and you can do it 10.78 by 10.78 if you want a square and position it in the middle, or you can go 10.78 and go as wide so you get a little bit of a rectangle. And it's up to you which way you go. I'm actually going to just cut them and then decide what looks better afterwards. But this is where I'm going to do my design. So my design's got to come and get glued on the front here. And one of my design pieces has to get glued over here and over here. And my writing panel has to get glued either here or here. I think my writing panel will be here and my pattern panel will be there. Looking at this. Actually, one more thing before we jump into design space is I'm going to use my trimmer to cut my paper. So we've decided on five plus 10.8. Five plus 10.8 is 15.8. So I want 15.8 and I want 10.8. Put 10.8 and 15.8. So 15, let's just go with the 16 here for this part. And I will use this little scrap. So I will trim this off. How will I trim it off? I might use some scissors for this. Trim it off here. Scissors. Perfect. So now we want, again, 10.8. And I need a 5 centimeter piece. So now where did my card go, just to give you an idea. Now I will cut the writing panel on my Cricut Joy, which is why I wanted to do the 10.8. So now that'll go in the middle. I've decided I'm going to make that my writing panel. So now we're going to jump back into design space. Okay, so I'm just going to jump in and grab a new project. My design space version is 7.33.114 and I'm in live. Actually we're going to jump into my project so you go to my profile and you select this project here or you use the link in the description box and press customize. So I'm in design space I'm going to go to images I'm going to type birthday let's see if capital letters affects his result now what am I going to look for? I don't have a, see I've got lots of prices on here. I'm going to look for free. I like this design. This is better for a stencil cut. But this one I'm going to use HTV on. It 
Now the green panels here are my patterned panels. So my pattern panel is the green panel. The yellow panel is that writing panel, which we will cut on our joy. Okay, so this is my front panel. So we just want to design with the size in mind. I don't want the birthday cake to be the main feature. That looks pretty good size wise. I can probably make it a little bit bigger because again my HTV scrap is here. You can see I've got a little piece and it's five centimeters by five and a half centimeters so as long as I stick it under that it's fine that looks like the perfect size to use my scrubber I will need an offset for it to attach to so it probably looks big it's like it's going to take over that's probably a bit big of an offset Try point three, half the size. I will do that, but I will also go and contour out. So I use the contour function. Let me do that again. So down the bottom here, I've got a contour function. I'm going to remove all the little bits. So I just want one big piece. I'm going to cut that out in orange to match the Z fold. And my birthday cake is going to be in my gold. So brownie will do the gold. I'm also going to write happy birthday. So let's go with happy birthday. That's not how you spell birthday. I'm using Cricut Sans writing font, just keeping it simple and the pen that came with my machine. I'm going to make a little tag. This is pretty cool too. Take this. How wide do we want it? 9.8, I think. How wide do we want it? Probably two. Maybe not, actually. So I want to put a little flaggy thing in it. Flaggy thing, I sound great, don't I? So I might change that to my orange as well. Now I'm going to find another free shape. Triangle. Rotate 90 degrees. Width or height? make one of them 1.6 yeah 1.6 high now I want to align top align left align top and slice do the same on the other side. So I'm going to go rotate 180 and I'm going to go grab the big square thing again, align right, make sure it's aligned on the top as well, probably is. I've got the two layers highlighted that I want and I'm going to slice again. Now I'm going to delete all the little triangles. And look what I'm left with, a little banner. Now, how wide is that? Let's just, sometimes doing things by eye is good too. Bring to the front. Happy birthday. That looks like it will fit nicely. I'm going to align, now I want that center center. And also because our eye looks for the line the baseline. I'm just going to lower that a bit down. 
that looks really good and I'm going to attach that. You can also change the pin. You just go up here. You got this is the one that comes with the Cricut Joy. You've also got extra fine point, your gels, your glitters, your markers. I'm just going to stick with the basics. That still looks a bit big, so I'm just going to now shrink it down a little bit and adjust until I'm happy or until you've got a little piece of scrap that you want to use up and that's exactly the size that you want. Both work. You can also make it wider if you want but not longer. I just wanted to make sure I had the banner in it first to make sure the writing looks okay. I think that looks good. I'm happy with that. And again, it doesn't have to be positioned correctly on your screen. Okay, it doesn't have to be positioned correctly on your screen. You need to position it correctly on your actual card. Now this one's the writing panel here. So if I want to put my writing in, that's where I will pop my text in. Now I've just got to decide what I'm writing. You just add the writing the same way I've done it. So let's just pop that on now. I might fast forward through that one for you. Okay, so next I'm going to prepare myself to use my Cricut Joy. So we've got to use this scrubber. So I've got that up. It's 4.7. So 4.7 plus 0.6 is 5. Point. Here we go, 5 point. Yes, we've got enough. So I can go upright. And I need 3.7 wide. No, it's 4 centimetres wide plus... 0.6 so let's just go through here four centimeters wide plus 0.6 so I should do a little bit more because I'm trying to use up the scrap already no need to create more scraps so there we go that's my hollow done And I can pop the HTB away. Okay, so I've decided that I'm going to use a bit of scrap now. So I'm just going to jump over to my camera. And I'm just going to show you the piece I found of a little piece of orange that matches. So I'm just going to adjust my orange to match this scrap. So now my orange piece needs to be 4.2 by 4.7, 8.7. My slice is now 7.3 by 1.49, I think. It doesn't matter too much. Um, also, very important with the writing, I did my writing panel, but I forgot to attach it. So let's make sure I attach that as well. There we go, lovely. Um, so now my little gold panel needs to be a little bit smaller. I could escape a little bit. Look at the centimeters, it's not making huge difference. So that doesn't matter, I'd rather save the paper. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead, open up my Cricut Joy, and we'll get started from there. So now we're going to press the Make It button, make sure everything is where we think it's going to be. Oh, I didn't want to cut those green panels, so we can either just ignore that on the screen. Or we can go back and remove them. I might hide them. That's just because I've got guides going. This is going to be a long video, I think. So we're going to go... I'm going to change this to a guide. Change this to a guide. Now here's a little tip. Now we've done our designing and we're ready to cut. So I'm just going to pull these orange pieces out. I'm going to rotate this one 90 degrees because that's how I want it to cut. The little scrap I'm using has me putting it on. So I'm going to go a line left. And I'm going to make sure that it's as close as I possibly can get it. I'm not sure why my computer's 
not happy about that, that's okay. So I'm going to make sure that I move that up as close as I can. That's perfect. And now I'm going to attach that and press make it. Now I'm going to go on mat. It should still give me a blank map because I've got all those guides in the background. I've got my HTV layer, my cardstock layer, and my second cardstock layer. Perfect. All right, let's get my camera up and we'll get cutting on my Cricut Joy. Okay, so we've got my Cricut Joy turned on. I'm just going to press continue now. It's connecting my Cricut Joy, let's hope. Here we go. Our first one is going to be my Glitter HTV, so or Holographic HTV, but it's not smart, it's just Holographic Iron On. And we don't want to remember that. My Joy is giving trouble, I'm always just pressing more. So, now it's asking me to load onto the mat, so now I will go over here. If I want to see it, you hover your mouse over the mat and it'll bring it up again. It'll show me what I, where I need to place it. it. Needs to be portrait, okay? So portrait. And jump in and press go. Excellent. So now I'm going to unload. Perfect. Now, cut the machine back for a sec. Tilt it. Cover over the mat. And then remove from mat. And that way your mat stays protected when it's upside down. So hopefully you can see there's a little cut in there. Perfect. Next piece. What's it asking you for now? My orange piece of cardstock and it'll also want my pen. Again, got light cardstock which is why my score tool won't work on my trimmer and where is my little piece of scrap now I need to load this in portrait Is it covering everything? Looks like it does, but it's really pushing the limits on at the end. So I'll just reapply that one. Okay, and then 
What do I need? My pen. I knew there was something important. Take my plate out. Some of you have got the magnet. Some of you have got a magnet that will go up there. My magnet is this one here. I'll just pop it there and it attracts the At least it doesn't roll away. And it will move forward when I move the map forward. Move my cricket joy forward, etc. Alright, pen. We'll risk it and use the fine point pen. Blade that in. Press go. Just made it. Since I've just made it, I'm going to have to be a little bit careful when I remove it. So again, cover, mat, so I'll do that again. Put the cover on the mat, turn it upside down, take off to this screen here and we've got one more to cut and it tell us oh, I've got to remove this from the mat too so again protect everything now what did I say portrait oh landscape This is most definitely like cardstock. And it's asking me for that pen again, which silly me put away. That there. Let's go. 
Now let's swap it over because it's asking me to on screen. And press go. Now, because it's got the guides map, it wants to run a blank map, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to press cancel. Do I want to cancel? It's coming up at the top. Do I want to cancel the cart? Yes. And then that's, we'll just get out of that. Now, all done with my joy. So I'll pop that out the way. Same technique, mat cover, remove the cardstock from the mat, and then it's all nice and protected. So now this is my middle panel. Okay, so if I was to do my card, I've got my Z fold card piece, I've got my reverse Z fold. I've got my front panel, my side panel, my writing panel, and my front piece. And I'll have this front piece ready to go as well. So that's all the pieces that we've got. Okay. Next we need my weeding tool, which was right there. So let me just go find that. Okay, so I found my tweezers, found my weeding tool, got my other scraper, scissors, ruler, and I found my tape as well. Okay, so let's start by weeding our HTV. HTV is really easy to weed. It just comes away. And it comes with its own carrier sheet, so you don't have to trans use it as use transfer paper. Now what else do I need to weed? This bit here comes up. Uh, this bit here comes up. That's my tweezers. these little bits here. Oh, that just came up without my tweezers. Perfect. And this piece of cake here. Lovely. Now, that would go nicely on here. You can do that by eye. Check you've got it the right way. If it looks any better. We discovered it didn't really matter. On screen. I would prefer it this way, the original way. Like that. So that's where that's going to go. Now we can get a good visual. So we can do this, we can do this. See so if we like that. Or do we want it up the other way? So, oh, it's moved. That way, or do we want it to go this way? Oh, okay. I think I've found a winner. I like that coming up there. And that's not quite centered. That's okay. And then just line that up. And it has the that 
takes into account the design. I like that. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So I've designed which way I want. Now, heat guide. I'm going to use my mini press and I'm going to use holographic iron on and I'm using cardstock. So it's asking me to go low and 25 seconds. Okay, let's grab my camera again and go low. And now we're going to wait till this goes starts glowing green, but I don't know if you'll be able to see it. In the meantime, I'm going to get my placemat and shopping board. And butcher paper. Baking paper. Now I'm going to line this up by eye. You can do a ruler, you can do however you want. There we go. Now it said 25 seconds. So I'm just going to use a timer. Zero, 25. I'm just going to start. There we go. Let that all calm down. I personally have had any success with cardstock on the recommended Cricut mat. I have one, but because it's soft, I find that it warps the cardstock. Now again, you got to flat and then peel. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Closer. That's really pretty. Now. I will turn off my mini press. Pop that out of the way. No, turn it back on apparently. Okay, let's make this panel up and then we'll pop it on. What did I decide? We decided we wanted it up this way. I'm going to put cake through there and happy birthday straight underneath or with a little bit of gut. A little bit of gut. even go over. Yeah. No, we want to make it look like that's a little... Oh yeah, underneath. I like that underneath. I'm going to put that slightly over the top. Okay, so... Okay, so where were we? I went to find my glue. That wasn't the simple task I thought it was going to be. Now, I'm going to use my glue tape to do the base. I'm just trying to work out which comes first, chicken or the egg. I'm thinking, let's line all of this up. Yeah, let's do the this panel. I 
want to do this panel like this so I can see what I'm doing. This is simple because I'm using the Cricut branded sticker paper. So all I need to do is get my weeding tool and try and pick up the backing. This is the front, this is the way up I wanted. This is where it looks good. I'll pop it down. Next, we need my ruler. This is where we need to line things up a bit more. So this one here has to go based on there. Go sticker. Of how thick this is, make sure it's the correct way up. Use my ruler as my base. Put it down where I want it. Using my ruler as my base again. Put my panel on. Last panel. This one here. And I'm going to get everyone hand right onto this panel. I'm just going to temporarily stick it down and we will revisit that one. But you get the idea. You just use your ruler, line it all up, make sure it all has a nice straight line, and then glue it down. Okay, next bit. Hold it back under. I thought we wanted the cake underneath the happy birthday. Oh, the happy birthday there. It looks good visually. I'm using my paper tape. I'm just going to rip it. I can't be bothered today. So that's going to be my main attachment weeding tool, best way to get this tape off. Now I'm going to use my fine point glue as well. Tiny dots onto those corners. That's a bit big of a dot than I would have liked. You get the idea. Not too much because it's paper and it will warp. Too much liquid's not good for paper. But we said we said somewhere along this blue line. There. Okay, that will do. And pop that cake on there. Doesn't quite look right. Let's see if I can get it. I can. Excellent. Perfect. Even better. I'm going to pop the cake on and use that as a little flame. So, again, paper tape. To do the middle, dots around the edge. Weeding tool. Not going to tweezers this time. Line it up. Want that over there. And when I'm happy, push it down. Gives it a little bit of a handmade feel because it's not perfect. Next, just got to finish it off now. So we want to pop it in here. 
and glue this panel and this panel right so where do we want it scoring tools are the best for this too so two thirds one third yep that's where we want it yeah so centimeter there I want it. I'm going to use my scoring tool. I haven't put it away. See if I've got little lines there. No, didn't help. Found it. There we go. Take my ruler. Use my scoring tool now. My audio is on perfect. Leading tool, put this up. Stop this glue around. Not my latest job. No. Turn it around. Find out in dents. No, line it up, line it up, line it up. Perfect. Pop it down. Magic. So here's our card. Up like that. It's, it's up like this. Happy crafting! Hi, my name is Elisa. I'm an Aussie, and this channel is my home of Cricut Joy friendly projects in mostly metric, but also a little bit in inches because the Cricut standard products are in inches as well. So if that sounds like you, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you again soon.